Hey, it's Steven from My PLC Training, and this is another video to help you become a confident PLC programmer. And today we're going to look at Logics Designer Studio 5000 and how to scale your analog input module. Okay, so if you're working with a Control Logics PLC and some of the Compact Logics uh, PLCs as well, there are certain analog modules that you would scale inside the configuration settings for the module. So in the olden days, you would do all your scaling in the logic, and sometimes you still need to do that, so that's important to learn, and we can help you learn that as well. But Control Logic's platform has made it a lot easier to just scale your, your analog input and output modules in the module configuration settings. So let's go ahead and add a new analog input module. We're going to go for the IF8 which is an eight channel, non-isolated voltage or current analog input module. So this can read voltage inputs like a zero to 10 volt signal or a four to 20 milliamp, which would be the current signal. And so it can use either, either type signal. So we're gonna add that. And then you can give it a name. I just usually don't name these modules. So what we want to look at here is under channels, you can select which channel you want to set. So we're going to just go with channel zero for now. So the first thing you can look at here is the input type. So is this going to be a voltage input? So you've got three different options for voltage inputs. Or is it going to be a current input? And there's just one option for current. Now, it's 0 to 20 milliamp, but you can use a 4 to 20 milli input because that's within that range. And that's something we can talk about in more detail another time. But let's just go with a voltage signal for now. Keep it as simple as possible. We're going to go 0 to 10 volts. Okay, so we're going to be looking for a 0 to 10 volt analog input signal. Now, this could be something that is coming from... Um, a speed sensor on a generator. It could be coming from a level sensor in a tank that's telling you how high that level is in the tank. It could be coming from any number of things that are measuring a value between, you know, a, a certain set value. So 0 to 1800 RPMs, for example, or 0 to 200 gallons for example. And then what we want to do is we're, we want to say, okay, we ex what value do we expect that voltage to be at when the tank, for example, is at 200 gallons? Say it's a 200 gallon tank and we want to know what voltage we're going to see on that PLC analog input module when it's at 200 gallons. Now, part of that needs to be configured on the sensor side, but assuming that's configured right, normally you would expect something like 0 to 10 volts to be mapped to 0 to 200 gallons. So if the PLC is seen 0 volts, then that, that tank is, has nothing in it. If it's seen 5 volts or 50%, then that tank is half full or 100 gallons. Here, just so you can be aware of what you're measuring is the engineering unit. So that would be the units of the object that you're measuring. So in this case, the tank. So we're going to say gallons. And the signal has to do with the input that's coming in. In this case, we've got V for voltage. If we had it on current, it would show A for amps. But our high signal, we're going to say is 10 volts and our low is zero. And we said this is a 200 gallon tank. So now we set that to 200. So now again, if we see zero on our analog input signal, that's going to be a zero gallons in the tank. If we see 10, that means we've got 200 gallons in the tank. If we see five, that means we've got 100 gallons in the tank and so on and so forth. So we can take another example here. Let's say current, we choose zero milliamps to 20 milliamps. Okay, in this, in this case, we'll say that we're using a load cell or something that weighs what's on it. So you're weighing to see how many pounds the object that you want to measure is. So we'll say that um, 
it goes from zero to a thousand pounds to keep it simple. But we're using a four to 20 milliamp signal. Okay, so our high signal is gonna be 20. Our low signal is going to be four. And we're saying that this is going to be pounds. And so this is gonna be a thousand pounds. And this is gonna be zero pounds. Okay, so this makes it so easy to scale this, we don't even have to do any math in our head. We just know, okay, when it's a, the low signal is showing four milliamps, we want that to indicate that we're at zero pounds. And when it's showing 20 milliamps, we want it to show that it's a thousand pounds. Now off the top of my head, I don't know what 50% would be. Zero to a thousand, you know, 50% of that is 500 pounds. So that's going to be somewhere in the middle between 20 and 4 as far as the milliamp signal we would expect. So 20 minus 4 is 16 divided by 2 plus 4. So 12 would be the halfway point between 4 and 20. Um, I should have been able to do that off the top of my head, but I forgot. So 12 milliamps would equal or should roughly equal 500 pounds. Okay, so that's how you scale the analog input or output module with Control Logic's platform. And again, they make it really easy. Not all modules support this really easy setup. So if you want to learn the full way to do it with math instructions and so on so that you can scale whatever, wherever, with whatever platform, um, we can help you do that at myplctraining.com. Check it out. We have programs to help you. Learn PLCs, HMIs, drives, robotics, and to help you get a career in controls and automation, if that's your goal. So check us out at myplctraining.com. Hope this video helped. See you next time.